everyone, it's Holly and I am back to do a little update video. I think it's been about four months since my last video and it's just been quite the summer, I'll tell you that, quite the summer. So the thing you need to remember in this video, the phrase, work in progress, because that's where we are. We are just a work in progress. So it's been an amazing and also a heartbreaking summer here in Montana. It's been fun and wonderful and it's also just been really hard and sad and that did tend to cause us some problems with our progress on the workshop. I really thought I was going to be making soap by July. I really did and I was delusional because it is September 1st and we're not there yet. So <laughs> life, right? Everything was going pretty good. We were doing really well had a wonderful Mother's Day and then my world kind of came crashing down. We had a heartbreaking family, just a horrible situation and it took me probably a couple of months and a little whiskey, I'll tell you that, to kind of recover from that, to make adjustments, to kind of find my joy, be ready to move on. I didn't care with the workshop got done or not. I just didn't care. So. I had to work past that. In the meantime, my husband, you know, he works full time, so he just had to work on it when he could. So we will do a tour of the shed, the workshop. We call it the shed, but it's my workshop, but it's technically a shed. So we're gonna do a tour of the shed, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around on the property and give you a bit of a life update as well. So a little side note, something that is going to create a further delay is I have to have some knee surgery and it's not a big deal it's just an outpatient thing but it is happening here in a couple of weeks and so when I thought hey maybe we could be up and running again probably not that's again delusional um, I have that just stopping me dead in my tracks for a while so really it's all a work injury so back in December of 2020 I remember that I was up in my attic you know, in my workshop in, in uh, Missouri. And I was kneeling down taking pictures of the new room spray. So I had my new pretty labels and those new clearish bottles with the black lids. It, everything was going great. And I knelt down and my knee just popped. I remember my husband and son were working on labeling. I'm like, did you hear that? They didn't hear it because the music was too loud. But I have been <laughs> growing a little lump and I've been a little stressed about it through the years. It's because it's been, you know, almost three years. But what happened was, um, it's a little bit of scar tissue. And so we did this whole wait and see with my Missouri doctor. And then we got to Montana and I got a surgeon. And so we're just going to go in and take that sucker out. We did an MRI. Everything's fine. But we're going to take it out. So that's going to cause me a little delay as well. Okay, so I am going to switch over to my gimbal doodad and we will just take a little walk around. Okay, so we're getting ready to walk into the workshop. I had to give up on the gimbal, so I apologize if it's a little bit shaky. I am convinced that if I touch that thing for one more minute, my heart will explode completely out of my chest. I am not gonna touch that thing again. It was the biggest waste of money. Okay, so here we go. And I'm gonna try to be fairly steady, but I probably won't be because I'm a bit of a wobbly one to start with. So we have this cutesy little deck and I absolutely love it. And I have plans to um, have like a cute little rocking chair here. And I have a little pot over here. And that was super cute until the squirrels decided to go after it. So yeah, much annoy. So, all right, here we go. Stepping up and heading inside. My blood pressure is already coming down just using this tripod. So I'm just gonna set you up. Okay, so here we are. My tripod decided to challenge me and I swore for the first time in my life and I'm 43 years old. So anyway, that just, just goes to show you how frustrated I am this day. All right, so here is the shed. I will scoot myself back into the corner. So this front part is going to be my main workshop. And if you watched the last video, you kind of know how I had it all set up. Kind of my plans, you know, we'll see if, if it all pans out. So one thing you may notice, so here we have the nice little 
window, but the one thing you may notice is we added this window in. So we changed the plan and I decided that I probably wasn't going to be washing my dishes over here, which my husband actually really liked that idea because he thought it would be better for the water. So we are going to have a sink here. So I decided to go ahead and put in another window because I really do want to be able to look out. All these tubs, just these six big tubs, that's pretty much my uh, work stuff. That's pretty much all I have plus other things. I had sold all of my shelves, all of my tables, so I do have to buy quite a bit to start over. But so we have the insulation. We, my husband has the insulation done. And so now we're going to be, oh, hi, Shirley. Now we're going to be moving on to the remainder. So I'm gonna walk back here. And this right now is going to be the kids kind of rec room hangout area spread out. And this thing, oh boy, it is super powered. It probably took my husband, oh, 30 days, maybe more than that, just to run the power. And my son was helping with that as well. This thing is supercharged. But he had to put in the mini split and it's so nice and comfortable. So this room will eventually be just like a little office area, packing, I was gonna say package hat, maybe that too. Anyway, so it'll be our little packaging area. So that's pretty much it. It's not too exciting right now, but we are getting ready to finish it. And that part is so, ex so exciting. So that's pretty much it for the shed slash workshop, but I will take you outside and kind of show you around. So if you're not interested in life updates, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so kind of walking around the property. So in July, my husband had to go back to Missouri so he took the truck and brought home our trailer and about as much as he could fit in there. We do still have a little bit left in Missouri in storage, but we'll get to that eventually. So partly why it has taken so long for us to get anything done is because I keep coming up with all these things that I want my husband to do. So um, we've put in a gate down at the driveway. So we have a really nice uh, ghost control gate and that makes it really nice. Look at that pile of dirt. And I had him build me a garden tunnel. So back in June, let's stop for a second. So back in June, I had a garden planted in all these pots and they were just sitting outside. Well, we had a couple of cool days cause we're, we're up at 4,000 feet, which isn't that high in the whole scheme of things, but we're about a thousand feet higher than our closest town, which is Kalispell. And we did have a little bit of a cool, cool night. It got down, oh, it was, it was under 40, but even though we covered everything, it all just died. So we had to start anew and we have squirrels. Oh, these squirrels, the squirrels. Oh, they are so annoying. They dig up everything. So, for the people that don't know, we live in our fifth wheel right now. But this is the exciting part. I walk over. We have started uh, building the house. So we have our foundation dug and my husband has put in the rebar. So the next step is to go ahead and get concrete poured. I guess we're gonna have concrete poured like in three different times. Um, we have the foam form blocks coming soon. We're doing it all ourselves with the help from our neighbor who's a log cabin builder. So we are going to have a log cabin. I'm so excited about it. It's not gonna be huge, but you know what? All our children are older. They're getting ready to all be gone. One is gone already. He lives in Arizona now. And so we don't really need that much space, but it will be a three bedroom three bathroom and we're going to have some nice storage in the crawl space it'll be about five foot tall so we could put canned foods and and storage down there but it's going to have out oh, this way can you see my finger it's very sunny out here so out that way we have this beautiful kind of mountain view we may have to take out a tree or two but I don't know we'll see I don't really want to take out trees for that anyway so we will have um this wall over here is going to be just all windows and it's going to be very open um, concept and will be open all the way to the ceiling and then we will have um, 
um, upstairs over like half of it will be a bedroom and an office. So that's really exciting. And then we put in, a, as long as we had our post hole digger the day to, um, well, an auger, I guess we rented an auger. So the day we had an auger, we put in the, um, the clothesline as well. It's not going to be there forever. We'll probably move it, but it's really nice to be able just to hang our clothes out and dry in the nice Montana air. We are actually really lucky because we got a whole bunch of rain. We were in um, stage two fire restrictions and we got, um, we just got this morning we are no longer under fire restrictions, so that's really fun. But we've had a lot of smoky, smoky times. So you wanna come check out the garden? Let's do that. It's a little bit crooked, and that kinda of drives me a little bit bonkers, but my poor husband is stretched thin. And so um, he said, that's the way it's gonna be, and it's fine. So I planted some vincas kinda of late. They're not doing well. So this is just kind of more an experiment than anything to see what I can accomplish. Isn't it cute? This is a cute little tunnel. Ooh, it's nice and warm in here. I do not have a green thumb, so things do not perform well for me, typically, but let's see, I do have, if I can see them, where'd you go, little guys? Oh, here we are, they're clear down here. So we have some green beans, and I planted okra just to see what would happen, but it's too cold here, and uh, the squirrel has, they see how they went down and dug up to get to the water? That's what they've been doing and just digging up everything. Um, most of my zucchini and yellow squash have been rotting before. I haven't had a thing out of my garden yet. Not a thing. So, anyway, things aren't going super duper well. I can grow mint worth a darn though. Look at that. I can grow mint. So we have some, let's see, Anaheim peppers are in here. We have some green peppers hanging out there. This is the other one that the squirrel had been digging in. So that's what this tunnel was for, not only for heat, but also to help with the squirrels, but we just don't have it sealed off yet. And let's see, I do have a tomato hanging out in there, nice yellow tomato. And this one here is pretty loaded down. It's looking good. We got some tomatoes there. I have heard that people are struggling to get their tomatoes to ripen this year in Montana. So anyway, that's kind of the deal. But I think I'm going to have some more beans coming on. And I might get enough for one little, a little bit for dinner. Okay, so that's pretty much here from Montana. We are just a work in progress. So hopefully the next time I have a video up, the workshop will be done and I will be up and running. So I will talk to you later.